Hello, it's day seven, and I want to talk about the Franken diet. I don't have much time. I have maybe 10 to 15 minutes before the light fades too much for me to record. So the Franken diet. It's time for me to finally put together all of the pieces that I've gathered. And before I do that, before I lay out what I'm going to be doing, I want to make it very clear to anybody who's following along. You and me may be on the same journey, like we're walking through the same woods, but we're not on the same path. What I lay out as my steps and rules, they may not necessarily work for you. I know what works for me because I have literally been on and off diets since my teens. I know what parts work and what parts don't. So don't feel like you have to do what I'm doing. Don't feel like you have to take any of the steps that I'm laying out as gospel. In fact, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. I have said this many times. If there is something that works for me, but not for you, you know, you don't have to do it. Okay, running out of light. So, number one, first tenet of the Franken diet. No food is off limits. I can eat whatever I want at whatever time I want. That means if I want a boiled egg at midnight, we're having a boiled egg at midnight. If I want M&M's for breakfast, which sounds gross, but believe me, there have been days. Um, If I want M&M's for breakfast, we're having M&M's for breakfast. There's no restriction on time or type of food. Number two, the hardest one for me. I am only going to be eating when I'm hungry. And I'm going to stop eating when I'm full. I don't have a great understanding of my hunger cues or my fullness cues. I know that generally when I'm hungry, my stomach will rumble, but I don't really have a very good sense of when I'm full yet. So this is going to be a challenging one that I want to talk more about at a later date. Number three, I'm going to be sitting down to eat. That's probably the easiest one for me. Sit down to eat and pay attention to what I eat. Very low pain in the ass factor. Easy one. Easy one. Number four. Number four, I'm going to be recording what I eat in a notebook. A physical notebook. After the other day when I was talking about calorie counters, I thought to myself, maybe it would be good to just record what I'm eating in the notes of my phone. But I think I want an actual notebook. Not only because carrying around the notebook will remind me of what I'm doing, like a physical reminder, But also because I'm really tired of losing all my data, you guys. Like, there's nothing saying that I'm going to have the notes in my phone forever for the next 15 years. So, I'd much rather have a notebook that I could just plop on the bookshelf once it's complete. Something that I can go back and look at if I need to. And number five? Another hard one. I'm (sighs) going... I'm going to start treating myself like a skinny person. There are a lot of things that I swore I would do when I became skinny. A lot of things that I said... There were a lot of things I said I would do once I became fit. A lot of things I said I would do once I got skinny. And I never got to do them. And I've been putting them off for decades now. Like, literally decades, since I was like 10 or 15 years old. Things like dating. Things like buying new clothes. Things like going out in public. Speaking to people. Dancing. Things that I swore I would do once I was in the body I wanted. But since I'm not chasing that skinny body anymore... I'm just going to start doing them. It's going to be hard. My self-esteem is going to take a hit, but I'm very tired of putting things off just because of the way I look. So that's the Franken diet. I'm totally out of light, so I'm going to cut it off there for tonight. And remember, 
if you're following along, if you're trying to lose weight or get healthier, you know, you've got to think about what works for you. You've got to make your own Franken diet. That's why it's called the Franken diet. There's no one part that is gospel. You can pull that thing apart and stitch a different part on if you want to. If something's not working, you change that. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. It's going to go well.